Hi, my name is Sue Hanbeck, and it is my honor to invite you to explore the wonderful miracles of agarwood at this plantation in the heart of Vietnam. The fragrant essence of agarwood, or commonly known as oud in many parts of the world, has always been one of the most sought after and demanded essence oils, especially in the Middle East. And now, the West is just waking up to discover the mystical charms of the agarwood that we've known for thousands of years. However, the true miracle of oud is how it grows naturally and how it actually gets processed into the essence oil. And another miracle of the agarwood trees is that it takes a very special someone, a spiritual someone, to grow the best of the quality of trees. It's very well known that one does not choose the agarwood trees, but the agarwood trees choose you. This is where the processing takes place. And this is a very secretive and proprietary industry. So we are very lucky today to be able to just take a glimpse of what happens to get the agarwood trees to become that wood that we all yearn for. Come on and join me. As the uh, material coming in, uh, the uh, factory, we load down here. And then we let it dry in the shade for maybe an hour, a day or two, to take out about 60%, 40% moisture, and then we chop it down to a smaller portion. And then we take this grinded powder, we're going to soak in the water. At which point they will be stored in these barrels anywhere between 20 to 60 days based on customer demand. For example, the Kuwaiti market likes some more light, subtle fragrance and aroma, whereas the Saudi market likes some more deeper, rich, longer lasting effect. Then they load into the boiler with a complex system of air moving through chambers in order to keep the temperature constant. The condensation unit helps vaporize and separate the oil in three different stages from the remaining fluids. Meanwhile, the purified water is recycled back and can be used for many other purposes, such as cleansers and cosmetics usages. That is called hydrosol and is considered to be excellent in pure diluted form. Now the extracted remainders are piled separately and available for the incense and buhur industries who come and purchase in bulk. The whole system at this plant is eco-conscious. They use a densely compacted renewable source of energy, which is rice hulls. Now that's innovation, not the coal, not the toxic fuel sources. What's amazing is that the smell of this factory is incredible. Of the 17 species of agarwood trees, only a few carry the best and the most potent of properties that are in such critical demand, which of course can drive prices anywhere from a few hundred dollars per kilo to over $50,000 per kilo. And that's why so many pharmaceutical and cosmetic companies try to synthetically recreate that aroma. But they haven't been able to do that. And the reason is that the smell, the complexity, the layers of the Oud fragrance is so complex that it just proved not to be cost-effective. Well, quality has to be from the beginning. The beginning where the tree is. The inoculation process is so important. That could determine, plus the land itself, the location itself, is determining the smell, the quality of the, the disagar wood. And the solid will be used for different things. And the remaining liquid is for perfume. Agarwood remains pure to its origin and its innate mystery. For those lucky enough to experience the sacred scent of heaven, remember, the miracles of nature reside not just in the nature and the herbs around us, but in every one of us. My personal journey that took me around the world, searching obsessively to find that purest form of the Oud essence oil, led me to that one plantation in Vietnam. 
and although my reasons were very different from the perfume industry, nevertheless, I did find it. If you would like to obtain that exclusive pure form of the Aoud essence oil, you're welcome to contact us through our website or phone number.